First of all, let me welcome everybody to this wonderful press conference that is totally out of normal. We said we're going to break the rules, and this is what we're going to do. My name is Ubon King, and I'm the convener of Tinkation 2020. So what I'll do is to tell you a bit about what we are doing and what we, are, what, what we intend to have today. Now, um, why are we doing Tinkation? One of the things I must say quickly is that Tinkation press conference is not the conventional one where you have people sitting down and you know you read a speech. No, 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 no. We are going to be different this time. I'm going to tell you everything that is going to happen. How you intend to. If you have questions, please send out your questions. My team will pick out the questions and will reply and then I'll get to reply you. Now, thinkation means thinking and education. Two words form thinkation. Thinking and education. When we say thinking, and we say education, we understand what it is. A lot of Nigerians are educated. We, we've, we've heard that Nigerians are the best in different parts of the world, in academia, we had first class, second class, upper distinctions. All over, Nigerians are noted as one of the most intelligent people in the whole world. But guess what? We don't think. And because we don't think, we are subject to people that think. It is not a function of our education, it's a function of how we can think. So I now decided, look, if the problem is thinking, which is the missing gap in our productivity, then what do we do? We need to mix thinking and education together to call it thinkation. So three years down the line, we decided to do thinkation. And so we said, okay, if we're going to do thinkation, how do we do it? But before I get to that part, let me bring you to my story a bit. That helps you to understand the back end of everything. I was born in 1972 to a family of five children from my mom. And when I was 13 years old, I lost my father who died. Now, when my father died, we found out that my father had a second wife with four children, so we're nine children. And my father was just 39 years old. I was 13 years old, and I was the first one. And my last sibling was only eight months old, two wives. So it was a whole fight. Now, my father was everything in the house. My mom didn't go to work. My, my stepmom didn't go to work. And so we're living on misery. The only thing that my father had as an asset at that point in time was a 504 SR, brown in color, registration number 3069 MC. So the two wives were in the house and they kept fighting and fighting and fighting. So that house was a nightmare. Can you imagine that at night my mom would carry me into the room and our siblings and begin to tell us, defend your house. Don't let anybody take anything that belongs to your daddy or your mom. While doing all that, my stepmom is in her house there, in her own room, telling her children the same thing. So at night, when I go to sleep, I'll first travel to China and go and learn to, to fight Chinese. Achua! Then go to Russia, go and learn kickboxing. Then when I wake up in the morning, I'm looking for my brother to break his head or something. That's the kind of mindset I had, thinking about it. I hated my siblings. I hated every single person because that was how I was taught. Now, unfortunately for me, I feel I was in the Federal Government College in Janiki, Lagos. In my second year after my, the death of my father, it was a big blow to my life. When my father died, I lost faith in myself. My father was my friend. My father was everything to me. So when I lost my father, I lost the opportunity. Some of you here, you know, you've lost people in your life and has affected you. I understand that. But I didn't give up. Now, I was in Federal Government College, Janiki, Lagos, and when I was living SS3, I did not really do well in school because I, I was a bit emotional and I didn't do English very well. So I had a P in English. I wrote GC, I had a P. I wrote on that GC, I had a P. Now, I, maths, I was good. In the sciences, I was good. But when it comes to English, I don't know what happened to me. So that became a challenge for me. And it was a real big issue. So it affected my going into the university in 1989, Uniben. I was dropped because I was admitted for chemical engineering. But because of English, I was dropped. In 1990, I was dropped in, in um, Lagos State University. And then in 1991, I got admitted into the University of Calabar. And guess what? I was admitted for agri economics. Yay! I was so happy. But unfortunately, I was called into the dean's office, and I was told that because I didn't have English, I needed to drop. So I dropped doing agri economics for education agri. Now, I told the dean that, look, I would prefer to do agri education because I cannot go back home and I'll look like a failure. So that, be, that became a problem for me. Now, my mom heard I was doing African education, which is 
which had to do, I was going to become a teacher. She didn't like that part. So because of that, she got very upset and disowned me. So I was disowned at the age of 19. I, my father, I lost my father at the age of 13. Nobody wanted to relate with me. Nobody wanted to talk to me. Everybody in the family said I was a complete failure and cool. I don't know. Have they called you a failure before? Well, meet one of the people they called a failure. I was rejected. I was thrown to the backside of town. I was ostracized. I was moved to the back. I felt as if I was doing, I learned how to backslide a lot of times before. But guess what? It did not change anything out of me. No matter no matter how bad the recession is in the forest, the lion will never eat grass. I did not know all these things, but they had to be a metamorphosis. I was sleeping in somebody's house. He would hand me down, uh, what they call it, uh, anything that they could hand me down. And if they wanted to eat, I would follow them to their mother's house and go and eat. That was how I was sure. I had no, no nothing in hand, no, no certificate to tender anywhere. I had no degrees to prove myself that yes, I am what? I was failure personified. Now, the fact that they have called me failure, did I give up on me? No, I do not give up on you, and that's why I've come out to look for you. Wherever you are, Thinkation was made for you, and that's what we're going to do. So in 2018, we said we would do our first Thinkation event, and in that event, I now look for some of my friends who have affected my life, and these people decided to be a part of me. Number one was the former president of Ghana, Jerry Rollins. I had Her Excellency Omolewa Ahmed, the first lady of uh, Kwara State at that point, uh, of Kwara State. I had Inia Bimbola, I had um, Alibaba, I told you that, um, Alibaba came and they decided to share their stories. Because whenever you hear the story, there's always glory in it. So anybody that you see that has glory, ask him, what is the story? Because a lot of people are just moved by what people drive, moved by what people hear. Hear the back story. I slept on the floor. I worked in, in as a security guard for three years without salary. But that didn't change me. I kept feeding my mind on things that were going to work. And I did that. On the 19th of January 2018, we put together our first Thinkation event. And our plans and our thoughts was that we're going to have like a thousand uh, people in the event. So we hosted it at the Civic Center in Victoria Island, Lagos. So people came in, registration was done, and people came in. We thought that we're going to amount to like maybe 500 people. But guess what? We had seven hundred people in that event. In short, we were even scared because this was Friday. Saturday was poor, was not was a free day, but Friday we had 700 people. The, the owners of the facility, Civic Center, said they cannot accommodate more because on Saturday more people came. We had a lot of testimonies out of that. People started seeing that, look, they can become it. They had potential. They had skills. They had opportunities. With the little things they had, they can create something for themselves. Because a lot of while we look at ourselves, we don't have job. We're waiting for job. The jobs are no more there. Robots are taking over. How are you going to sit down at home and not be productive to yourself. An opportunity for you has come whereby you sit down and begin to think what is the best way to make things happen? How do we go to the next level? How do we make things happen now? How do we get to the next level? So Thinkation 2018 was the revolution into how to become better, how to start. You heard people's stories because people's stories will tell you how they did it. So we became storytellers at that point. In 2018, we did it. And then in 2019, we planned, okay, let's do it again. On Saturday, we called it Thinkation um, out of the box. Now it happened this year, January 19th of January, 19th of January 2019, and we were budgeting that we're going to have 2,500 people, 2,500 people. So we opened the portal, opened the portal, and people began to register. Now, guess what happened? On the day of the event, we had as much as 3,000. 850 people in attendance. We had 1,400 people that couldn't find seats at the Harbor Point. And guess what? We had over 7,000 people registered. They must have heard something. They must have believed something. A lot of people came with their testimony. They came there to see what was happening, to learn from their story from different parts. We had from Ghana. We had from, from Somalia. We had, we had from um, um, the UK. We had from the US. We had from Gambia that came in from Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. I even remember the gentleman who 
who organized 10 buses, 10 buses from Ogun State and brought students and they came and they sat down. There was so much energy in the house. People were excited for morning. I even remember that there was a lady that came in by 2 a.m. and slept at the venue that she had to enter. By 7 a.m. in the morning, I was called. They said, King, we need to open this gate. I was begging them that let's wait till 7.30. They said, King, we have to open this gate. I said, open the gate. See the rush. I said, 9 o'clock when we we're supposed to start, the whole hall was full. In that event, we had Sherry Riley from the U.S. as a speaker. We had um, Hibak Abi Abian from Somaliland. We had um, Ambassador Wander Landro, who was the, uh, the ambassador for the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago based in Nigeria. We had Timmy Dakolo, one of Nigeria's A's musician. We had Richard Mofedami Joe, one of Nigeria's experts in Nollywood. And, and, and I, that man is, is a mentor personified. And we had uh, Wale Jana, one of Nigeria's best perfumers. We have Wale Ailara, who is one of the kingpins in real estate. We have Lilian Oparaji, um, a lady boss out of Port Harcourt. We have Steve Babaiko, the extreme, the extreme designer of the year, who is into advertising. And Steve Babaiko was there. So many fantastic people were there. And we had so much fun. It was a full day of activity. When I saw heads of people there, I was blown away. And guess what? 7,000 people registered. 1,400 left. So because of that, I now said, this year, we are going to have Thinkation 2020. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Thinkation 2020, the doors are officially open for you to register. And I'm begging you right now. All you need to do is just go to www.ubonking.com forward slash Thinkation XX. Just go there now and register. The earlier you register, the better for you. And you will get a free gift for me once you open there. You have like 20 of my videos and then 10 of my, or 20 of my videos and some other videos sent to you immediately so you can get a vibe. But guess what I did this time? This year, we said we're going to break every rule. Right from this press conference, every rule is broken. We are not going to have anything conventional. And guess what we're going to do? On that, thing, on that day, we're going to have a full event day and at the end, I will tell you what will happen before I finish this. We're expecting 10,000 people underground. The whole of Harbour Point will be covered by human beings, but not just human beings, not just regular human, but people that have purpose. And what did I think about when we're thinking with the team? How are we going to make it happen? How are we going to be different this time? And then we thought about it, thought about it. I said, okay, let's take people back to the days where we have a lot of comic. So I don't know how many of you remember Voltron. Some of you may know Voltron. How many of you remember Voltron? Voltron, defender of the universe. So in Voltron, Voltron is made up of five lions. Five lions that come together that form this awesome monster that defends the universe against people that come to attack the universe. And there you have five regular human beings. Regular human beings. Short, fat, irrespective of their size, but people that have a mission and a purpose. And these people are, are, are moved into lions. One red lion, blue lion, um, green lion, um, black lion, and then the yellow lion. Five lions manned by regular human beings. I know you have potential. I know you have ability. You may sit down. Somebody may not even understand why you do things the way you do things. But I know you have the capacity to take over. Like these regular young people that took over this lion. They entered into the lions and started the lion. And the power of the lion took them over. And once that person enters the red lion, he immediately turns into another man. Another one with the yellow lion turns into another one. The one with the green lion turns into another man. And five of them have unique powers that are traceable to the elements of the earth. Fire, water, sand, desert, and air. All these people come together. And each of those lions have special weapons. And those special weapons are what they use to come and fight and defend the universe. But when the going gets tough, they, the tough gets going. And guess what? When they come together, they form this beautiful, you know, um, machine. Transform, transform machine called Voltron. I, I can feel some of you already laughing and getting excited about it. So what did we do? This year, we are going to create something unique. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to hear what will happen in Thinkation 2020? 
Okay, now I'm going to give you an idea. What we are going to do is that this year, we are going to divide everybody into tribes, into different tribes. So if you are registering for Tinkation right now, you need to register for Tinkation and then you'll be, you'll be, and you'll be, you'll choose a tribe which you want to do. And what tribes do we have? Watch it now, watch it now, watch it now. Let me tear it up. So what we're doing is that we're going to have six tribes. Six tribes. Now, once we have six tribes, and the six tribes are number one, you have the Energizer tribe. Number two, you have the Thinkers tribe. Number three, you have the Creative tribe. Number four, you have the Organizer tribe. Number five, you have the Focus tribe. And number six, you have the Disruptors tribe. Every single one of you is either an Energizer, you're a Thinker, a Creative person, Organizer, Focus, or a Disruptor. And I'll tell you about it. But guess what? Some of my people will just walk around me, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So this year, your brother may not be at the same level with you. Your brother may be a disruptor and you be a thinker. Yes, your quality is thinking and he's a disruptor. Sometimes you may need to partner with a disruptor. You may need to partner with a thinker. need to partner with a creative person and make it happen. I don't know about you, but it's time now to call some of those people. Can I have a creative person? Come and show us what a creative. Each person that is a creative person has yellow. Yellow is for creative. Yellow are those kind of people that take over the market. Stop intimidating me here. <laughs> Yellow are those people that are creative. They are the ones that think about new ideas. They are the ones that are, are dominating the area. They look for how to take over spaces. I don't know, you may be sitting inside here, or you may be in this place or somewhere outside there. When you register with Thinkation now, please go and pick that you want to be in the creative tribe. Choose the creative tribe and, and become a part of it. Wow, Thinkation, I said, where's my own t-shirt? Now, this is a thinker. A thinker is, are those people that are intellectual. She looks like a geek, you know? <laughs> yeah. And a, a thinker, what she does is that these are people that have, uh, they, 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 they look at how to make things happen, how to make things work. I don't know if you are there, you are sitting alone, but you have the ability because blue stands for justice. Blue stands for that you, the potentials and every single thing that you can do. So you need to take over now and make it happen. This is a thinker. You might be a thinker and you know what you are ready for. So I don't know about you, but if you're a thinker, register and get into that tribe. Thinker's tribe, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, do we have an energizer in the house? Yes. Yes, we have an energizer in the house. Well, energizers are people that are very, very energetic. Whenever they enter into a place, they give a vibe. You know, they are somewhere that they are ready. There's so much energy around them. They don't joke. They make things happen. You are, you are meant to be that person. I don't know if you are like me. Me, I know that I am always an excited person. You cannot put me down. I don't know about you, but if you are in that tribe, you need to identify with the tribe yeah. right now. And so take over that space. Take over as an energizer. And make it happen. When you join the tribe, you will see a lot of us in that place. So get ready and buckle your seat there because something is about to happen. Thank you. Now let's see. Is there a disruptor in the house? Uh, there's a disruptor. Disruptor is for red now. And these are disruptors. Disruptors are people that are daring. Disruptors are people that take over the place. Disruptors are people that are are, are really, really aggressive. They don't allow anything to put them down. They are people that refuse to be put down. Their size is irrelevant. They are, they are, they are, they, the way they talk is irrelevant. But the way they go for things happens. I don't know about you, but if you are thinking about it, just go to ubonking.com forward slash Thinkation Excel. Register for Thinkation now and choose your tribe and everybody should get ready because that is the tribe that you need to be. It's either you're a disruptor or you're an energizer, you're a thinker or you're creative something you have potential and thank you very much and we have another one the organizers the organizers are the ones in black they have a knack for getting things done who are those that are here that are organizers there you know yourself you know the people that can do things for you you know how to make it happen and guess what you need to make it happen you need to make it happen and you need to join yourself as an organizer. Now, as an organizer. So, that is what you need to do. Now, there's another group called the Focus Tribe. The Focus Tribe are people that are pure, are white, but they think, they think and they get things done. They make it happen for themselves. So, 
The way thinkation is going to be the same is that you are going to become a tribe member and choose a tribe. Now, when you go into that tribe, you will meet my friends there. You will meet people that will teach you and show you how things are happening. You will meet some of my leaders there who will come in, some very fantastic people from Nigeria and outside Nigeria, who will be sharing their ideas, how they became what they are right now. You need to choose which tribe you are in. You can't be in Tinkation and not be a part of a tribe. You need to become a tribe because when all the tribes are ready and they come together, that coming together is what we call thinkation. That coming together is thinkation XX. And by the time all of us are there, when we all cluster together, we will be forming Captain XX. Woo. 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 I don't know about you, but I'm already geared. I'm already charged. I'm already moving to make it happen. I'm already getting ready to make it happen. So I don't know about you, but you don't need to wait any longer. Go now and register for Thinkation 2020. Ubonking.com forward slash Thinkation XX. Don't be the last. Don't procrastinate. Go now. 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 And join the tribe. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Don't worry about the t-shirts and anything yet. Don't worry about that. Just join the tribe and begin to. The, you will get a video. Once you register, you get a video from me. And that video will tell you about the tribe. So get involved and get into that tribe. Now. So that's how we're going to. But before I close this press conference now, I would like to answer some questions. Some people have sent me about so if you have questions please post it and then they'll take it up when we say break the rules we're talking about being contemporary you know differential and guess what i remember some years ago that um we, were, we used to drive cars that use manual gear then somebody now brought automatic gear to uh, as part of the car so i remember that i was among those with some people who used to say that People that drive automatic cars are lazy people, are for women. But a few years down the line, guess what? If you drive a manual gear car, they say that you are old school. Everything changes. Everything changes. Insanity is defined as doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and expecting a different result. A few years ago as well, if you wanted to make a phone call, you needed to carry that big box and then go and press and dial and dial and dial. But right now, every single one of us has what they call it, a, a, a smartphone that we can view and watch film. You don't even need a TV to watch me now. From the comfort of your phone, from the comfort of your car, from the comfort of anywhere you are, you can watch this live. TV has moved away, so we can't keep doing things the same way. And that is why Break the Rules is talking about changing the way we do things to get the expected result. Do you, do you feel me? Yes, I'm sure you feel me. is to identify your own skill set. Some of you are energizers. Some of you carry energy. Some of you are organizers. I need you to find your tribe and begin to relate with people in your tribe and begin to feel it with them. Find out who are those people there. How did they make it? You need, because the line of an entrepreneur is always, the life of an entrepreneur is always a lonely move. And if you are going to be an entrepreneur, trust me, it will be lonely. Very, very lonely. So you need a community of people who will say we will stand with you. We will defend this stuff. We will work with you and we'll make it happen. I don't know about you, but get ready. You need to join some people who are, who are energetic, who are ready to make it happen, who are ready to work. Now, so if you are somebody that is, is a thinker, join the thinkers tribe and play with the thinkers. See what the thinkers are doing. Work with them. Relate with them. You will see kings, you will see queens there. How did they get there? Find out what their skill set is. How did they turn this place? How did they make it happen? Now, if you are somebody that is a focused person, there are focused leaders, there are people that know what they're going, they don't get distracted. Choose a tribe and get it happen. So what the objective is, is for you to identify what your skill set is. Join that tribe and build that community so that you sharpen your area of strength. Because in, in, in an, ana an analysis called SWOT, SWOT says strength, weakness, opportunities, and trend. Identify your strength. Don't focus on your weakness. Move on the opportunity. So when you identify your strength, you move on the opportunity. And trust me, all the threats and everything will go up. So please focus on your area of strength and then stay there and that will happen for you. Before money enters your pocket, money has to first enter your head. 
Now, what happens is that if you're a fool and you have money, you have only become a rich fool. So we want to first change the way you think, the way we, we, you do things. And that's what Thinkation is about to do. Because the plan is to help people understand how to be able to identify their potential and create the opportunities within their potential. Thinkation is not just a seminar. Thinkation is a life. Thinkation is thinking and education. Get the education, but think on this education to get the expected result which you want for yourself. I've become a product of, of Thinkation. I think with anything that comes my way, give me any subject. I will read about it and find out what is the best way to get about it. I came here not because of education. I came here because of Thinkation. I am a product of Thinkation. I'm a product of making it happen. We have a lot of people that have done things and I know that you are next and that's why I am inviting you. There are many programs we have in the Ubon King Foundation. Thinkation is one. It's meant to pull you in so that you can understand the concept. And then you can go into Mentor Me. Mentor Me is a 30 days program. Some are actually um, three days intensive residential, but it's a mentorship program. Um, you have Mentor Me, then you have penetrating your market skill set. And you have even one targeted for students uh, while you're in the university. You can go through this thing because what, why would you wait for, for, for 14 years? Where you can learn everything in four years. Because a lot of people, after they graduate, they don't know what to do. But if you are in school and you learn and you are being properly mentored, trust me, instead of you graduating in 10 years' time or graduating eight years' time and not know what to do, you can start building a successful life right from your first year in the university. We will teach you every single thing. We will teach you every single thing. We will teach you how to make it happen. That's what we are, that's what we are going to do. Now, in Nigeria, we have over a hundred... 75% of them are youth under 45. That is 135 million. Now, it is written in the Presidential Committee on Job Creation. states that 40% of these people cannot be employed. That is 62.5 million youth cannot be employed. Why? Because they don't have skill. Now, it is not your education that guarantees you. It is skill, skill, skill. You need to start learning skills. You need to start learning what are the soft skills that are happening. Jack Ma, the richest man in China, the owner of Alibaba, says something. He says, tell your children that your competition is no more your brother. Your competition are actually robots because one smartphone can do the work of 10 men. So you need to start putting things together. How do I get involved in this space right now? Now they have hotels that are built in China that have only three human beings. If you want to enter that hotel, register online, get to the hotel. There, you use your face as a facial scan. They take a picture of you. It allocates you a room. When you get to that room. You don't need anybody to carry your things there. You just look at the door and the door will open for you. When you enter, you need food. You just order it on an iPad and then a robot will bring your food. Human beings are going out of extinction because robots are taking over the world. So we need to start learning soft skills. It is not physics, chemistry, biology. We need to start learning soft skills. How to talk, how to communicate, how to relate, how, what can we say, what gift have God given unto us. We need to make it happen for ourselves. So even if it's going to cost us money, I need a better future for Nigeria. I need a better future for Africa. I need a better future for all the young people all over the world. Wherever you are watching this, it's also your opportunity to win and you can make it happen. That's the drive for me there. I want to live this world better than I met it. First of all, I, I told you that my, my documentations were not very, very good. So I didn't come up with a good grade in school. But today, by the grace of God, I have a business that has hundreds of staff working for me. And the hundreds of staff working for me have been taking up the unemployment cadre. Now, this unemployment cadre now, those people are able to put food for their children. They're able to pay school fees. The schools where their children go to are able to accommodate new people that can work in their different places. So there's all there's a system that grows and grows and grows and grows and grows once the opportunities are there. So what do we do here? Now, so when we begin to do this kind of thing, my own vision is to have 50 million youth, 50 million youth becoming entrepreneurs who will employ five people each. Now, if 50 million people become entrepreneurs and employ five people, that means the number of jobs will be 250 million entrepreneurs, five, five million, 50 million. That's 300 million people. 
300 million people. If you have 300 million people employed and doing business, trust me, there will not be insecurity in the country. There will not be insecurity. There will not be abuse. There will, there will be respect and proper values in the system. Registration for Tinkation is free! Totally free. Totally free. Free. And ensure you register for it. It's totally free. Join a tribe and you are in. Well, not really from Ubon King Foundation. There, there, there might be angel investors there. And there, there are opportunities that you can win some prizes with, from our sponsors. So you need to also look at yourself if you qualify for it. We are not going to have any special write a, 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 a plan and then we defend it. No, 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 no. All we're going to do, we're going to teach you how people have done it. And a lot of testimonies have happened because until we change your mind, we cannot change your pocket. Your mind will follow, your pocket will follow the state of your mind. If your mind is working, your pocket will work. If your mind is not working, any money they give to you will leave your pocket into somebody that has a good mind. If yes, how many? We're not going to give that. We're, going to, we're not going to give seats. You see, once in a life, take a trip, enjoy, enjoy the drive, you know. Try to come to Lagos. I beg you, please come. I can kneel down and beg you. I can kneel down and beg you. I want you to come to Lagos. But I think we have a plan for you. We might be, we might be doing digital. We might be online for, for some of you who cannot make it to Lagos. But how can you be somewhere when the whole vibe is here? In the presence of people like this, there's so much energy so much energy that is that goes out. You meet people, you network, you will see faces that look like yours. You see people that behave like you there, and they are making it and they are pushing themselves to you. So don't limit yourself in anywhere you are. Whether it's, take a step today, like you decided to be here, say to yourself, I will be at Thinkation 2020, and then how much will it cost me and budget for it and come and let's have and I, I, I will be happy to shake you, take a selfie with you, you know, and then give you a head boot. I mean, sorry, not a head boot, you know, they'll just play with you. You don't need the t-shirts, you know, but we need you to join a tribe <coughs> because in the tribe, you will learn values in that tribe. We'll learn values. Trust me, you will learn values. You don't need Thinkation, to, you don't need the t-shirt to join, to come to Thinkation. But trust me, it will, be, it, will, it, will be, it will not be nice for you to be there without a t-shirt. Ah, it will be too cool, man, too cool. How will everybody go to wear t-shirt? You know wear t-shirt. Ah, it go pain you. But you know, it's free. You don't need to get t-shirt to come in. Just register your in. Send us an email and then you get your bonus because the opportunity for VIP access, but you need to be sure that you're qualified for it. Registered as a one-year member. On what level? That we need to do. So please, register for Thinkation now. Ubonking.com forward slash Thinkation XX and be there and let's make it happen to you. Yes, one thing I did not mention and I deliberately did not mention. Who are the speakers for this year? They will blow your mind. They will blow your mind. They will blow your mind. I want to speak in, in simple terms. Thank you for joining this press conference. And I'm thanking you again for being that nice to sit down and tolerate me. But more importantly, I want you to come to Thinkation. Come to Thinkation. Come to Thinkation. Come to Thinkation. Register for at ubonking.com forward slash Thinkation XX. Once you register, you'll begin to see what's happening. From today, the gates are open and we're going to form. So choose a tribe. Energize a tribe. The thinker's tribe, <coughs> the creative tribe, the organizer tribe, the focus tribe, and the disruptor. I don't know, but guess, I want you to go and choose a tribe. You will see me in that tribe. And the tribe you choose is the one I will enter. So register and then meet me there. Thank you. My name is Ubon King, and I'm just a troublemaker. See you! Thank you. And that's a wrap.